Hello, this is Eric Lyons, and I'm going to be showing a quick tutorial on how genomic regions can be extracted from GIVO in order to get the underlying sequence or all of the features. So for this example, we're taking a look at approximately seven regions from different fungal genomes. Um, up here on the top is our reference region, and you can see that we have sent any to all of these other regions. I'm just clicking and highlighting some of these collinear genes. And let's say, for example, that we've identified this region here as being interesting and we want to extract out that genomic sequence and then the underlying features. So you can use these slider bars um, looking at the ends of each one of these genomic panels in order to narrow in on a particular genomic range. So I'm taking a look at this region with a whole bunch of collinear genes. And if you scroll down to the sequence submission menus, those slider bars will automatically change the amount of left and right sequence of the genomic region we were analyzed. And if we want to just grab that sequence, we can click this link, Get Sequence. This will fire up SeqView and display for us the genomic region. And then if we want to be able to extract all of the, sequ or all of the genomic features out of this region, this tool has an option called Extract Features. So for example, if I'm interested in just getting all the protein coding sequence, I can select CDS click Extract Features, and now we get a list of all the protein coding genes within that region here in FeetList. And from here, you can send them to different tools like Koji Blast. You can select them. You can get their annotations. Um, you can even do other things such as calculate GC content um, by turning on those columns and then clicking Display GC Content, as well as other stuff such as getting um, codon usage tables and protein um, or amino acid usage tables. So I hope you find that helpful. Thank you very much.